talking about the equipment we're going to use here today to try to catch these fish with drop shotting. We're going to use, obviously, the electronics we're going to use is a bottom line 320 on the front and a, a, a 5100 on the rear. And we're going to actually idle around and try to try to find the drops and try to find the shad on the 5100 and get up on the front and maybe get a little more precise because drop shotting is not something where you cast a long distance and cover a lot of territory. You actually precisely put it right where you see it on the bottom line electronics. In other words, you put the bait right where the fish are and you leave it right where the fish are. And by it sitting up there wiggling, we got a little lure called a fish belly uh, hog shed here that's a real small shed. Looks like a real good delicacy for the, for the, uh, for the bass to eat. And if you look, you can't hold this thing steady. Even as steady as you are, I don't believe you can hold that steady. I'll be darned. It moves all the time, got little eyes on it. So it's really a very natural bait. Most of the time when you're drop shotting, you use a small lure. And so there's, you, there's you a cricket and there's me a cricket. So that movement's real key to, to, to getting the fish. It is because in. you're doing a slack line presentation and you can't keep it from moving. <laughs> See what <laughs> let it go yeah. to the bottom oh, yeah. and it just starts shaking the, the line. If you don't have your line wrapped around the end of your rod when you try to catch. Yeah, it makes a little difference. You got another one? Yes, I do. I told you, boy, we got this blue mark on the right. <laughs> Easy now, Ted, dead gun. You're gonna haul step on that well, one. Well, I don't think he's... You don't? Well, I don't know. <laughs> you never he know. He don't know, because he ain't come up yet. How big is that one? Oh, that's another nice one. Man, well, I was just oh, assuming. that's a catfish. You oh. fish for them things a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it never fails. Every time I come to shoot a show with you, I, I catch something that we're not supposed to. We fished four <laughs> days one time and didn't catch a thing, and finally Ted catches a big catfish, and today he catches him another one. <laughs> oh. Using a little drop shot rig with a fish belly minnow on it, fish belly hog shed. That doesn't really look like a hog shed, but it is. <laughs> With an eighth ounce water gum and bull shot yeah. sinker on it. Well, don't, I don't want to interrupt you. No, don't interrupt me, Ted. Well, come here, buddy. I got a back reel you on it. You want to lift it? Oh, no. How big is it? It's probably a catfish. Nah, you know better than that. Surely I ain't <laughs> caught one of them things, but it could be. It ain't come up yet. Come here, buddy. Let me check you out. Well, I'll be darned. <laughs> Nah, there you go, on. see? You got the plier, <laughs> yeah, Ted. Don't let him get my minna. But we do spend a lot of time on the water, Charlie. It's uh... straight on the trolling motor, man. Is that another catfish, Ted? I don't think so. Look at here, what I have got. Man, that's right. You catch all kinds of things with this. I want y'all to look what a blue gear. No, that's a bass. <laughs> <laughs> Let me come under you there, buddy. He was right under that mink coat. Right under it. Well, what's funny with this style of fishing, usually when you're fishing with somebody and you're setting the hook and all that kind of stuff, you can tell when somebody catches a fish. You just started reeling up there. I didn't even know you had one on. No, I just barely started reeling. The only bad part about it is they get it. Boy, right in the top lip. Same place every time. That little gammy cat too will get him. And that's not that big a hook. Oh, it's a very, so you'd think it's a perch hook if you looked at it. I know. It looks small. That's probably close. I got another one, Ted. I got another one, too, Charlie. Good, good deal. Look at this. <laughs> Two double, a double, man. Dang, it's the right kind. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Job, Teddy. That's good fish there now. Yes, it is. Right in the top of the mouth, Charlie, just like you said. Oh, yeah. Now, this that's time it. I think mine's a little bigger than yours. Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> this fish been caught before. Well, that's. They're nice, healthy fish, too. They're good looking fish. Great. So, you spend a lot of hours on the water testing? We do spend a lot of time out on the water testing, and I think it's. Uh, 
Well, it's important. I, you know, we spend a lot of time with people like yourself and 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 our pro staff that we have out across the country, and 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 I think it's critical, Charlie, so that when we design products, we know what their applications are really being used for, rather than just sitting in a conference room, you know, deciding what the average guy is going to want on the fish finder. And you do a lot in the walleye market too, don't you? We do. Yeah, I spend a lot of time there, and and uh, as well as the Great Lakes market as well. I mean, there's just a, your electronics. There's just different applications for it. I mean, what a guy wants in the Great Lakes versus someone down south that fishes primarily shallow water are really different. You know, so we're trying to make units that uh, satisfy everybody's needs. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Another good one? No, just another, another one of those good <laughs> termo fish. Yeah, he's a pretty good one. He, he, may, he may not get rid of my minnow. That's what I'm hoping. What you got, Ted? I think I got one, Charlie. Hey, Ted, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> look at this, Ted. <laughs> All right, kick that blue marker out. Throw it, just throw that right, right beside the boat. You got not double in yet. This one right here feels like a good one. He was deep. You're right, though. All I got to do is just lift up, you know? Yeah, just start reeling. Whoa, baby. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah! I see how it goes. I'll just get all the little ones out of your way, okay? That's right. Whoa! See, what I'm doing here is actually I'm using this rod and back reeling. I don't use much drag. Just back reeling with it. And I'll get him in a minute, y'all. Just set tight. You think this drop shot and deal won't catch those big good fish? Check this one out. All right, here he comes. You ready? <sighs> That's a nice one, Charlie. Well, sports fans, that winds up another... <laughs>